Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the music that plays here in behind the Minecraft menu. Now, the first thing we need to do is to get our song or songs and then make a new folder on the hard drive. So let's switch over there and I'll get that started. All right, here we are on my desktop and we're starting off with a new folder that I made. I just called it Title. You can make a new folder and name it anything you want, doesn't matter. And then I have my new song file right here. This is one that I got off of the YouTube audio library so that I can actually play it in the video without them knocking off my video. So there we go, that's all set to go. Now we need to get the vanilla resource pack so we can set this thing up properly. And for that, we have to go up to minecraft.net. Let me bring that up. There we go. You wanna to go to this page, it's minecraft.net add-ons. I'll put this link in the description so you can just click on that to get right to this page. Now when you're here, scroll down a bit, go past all this stuff, go past those pictures, and then right here it says installation instructions right above that right up here we have resource packs that link right there click on that and then download that into your working folder which you have over here let's go ahead we'll do that right now right there and choose save and there we go there is that vanilla resource pack okay we can now close that we're done with that now i need to open this thing up what i do is i right click on this and choose open in new window also while we're here make sure you're seeing that dot zip at the end right down there if you don't see that dot zip go up to view come down over here and check right there it says find them extensions put a check mark right there make sure you're seeing that dot zip we'll need that later okay right click open in new window there we go it should be floating on top that's what we need and we need a few things out of here you need this manifest.json and the pack icon png i'll just use the control key select both of those then just right drag those over here and copy there we go, we need both of those things. We then need to go inside of the sounds folder right here and scroll down. Down here you'll see sound definitions. I'll just put this right up like that. Let's go ahead and copy this one over here as well. I'll just right drag it over here and copy. And this one's just for reference. We can now close this down. We're done with that zip file. If you want to, you can go ahead and get rid of this as well. But I like keeping a copy of this on my hard drive so I can go back to that without having to go back and re-download it each time. So probably want to keep that someplace. You can keep it right here, that's fine. Okay, let's go back here to our sound definitions JSON right here and open this up in Notepad++, right click. And if you just downloaded Notepad++ and installed it, we need to set this up so it's gonna open up this kind of a file here. So for that, come down to open with right there. And if you see it in the list up here, let's go ahead and choose okay. If you don't see it in the list, then click on more apps and look in this list right down here. If you don't see it down here, click on look for another app on this PC opens up your program files. You want to come out of that and come down here to program files x86 and then scroll down and you'll find Notepad++ right there. Open that up and right there, click on that. That's the Notepad++ exec or exe. Choose open. There we go. That's opened up. Now we need to find that menu music. Go up here to search and find and just type music in up here and find next. That gets you down to the music section. We can then close that down. And here we'll scroll down, notice that this is music, game, calm too. We'll scroll down until we see menu show up in there. There it comes, music, menu, and we have four of those. Menu one, menu two, menu three, menu four. This is the name of the actual sound file we need. So we'll take care of that in just a minute. We'll put this up here someplace. I'll put it like that. Let's go back over in here so you can see that. And then you need these folders right there inside of your working folder. So we'll just copy that. So click on the new folder button here, make one called sounds. Let's go inside of that new folder button. This one is music inside of this new folder button menu. There we go. And inside of here is where our new sound files go. Get okay, just back up into our title folder right here. We now need to convert this over into a OGG file, .ogg file. Let's get this out of the way behind there. I like editing these in a program called Audacity. It's a free download and it's a great professional level sound editing program. Does this perfect. Let me bring that up. There we go. I'll just put this right here. Now you can go full screen on this or not, just make it floating. I'll leave it floating and that's because I'm gonna take the sound file and just drag it right into Audacity just like that. And there we go. Okay. Now, the first thing we need to do is to convert this to mono. That's because all the music, all the sounds in Minecraft are in mono, so it plays best that way. Go up to Tracks, come down to Mix, and Mix Stereo down to mono. There you go. We now need to convert this over into the OGG format, and that's up here, File. Come down to Export, and Export as OGG. Here's our title folder. 
There's our sounds folder. We'll put it right here. Just choose save and choose OK. Let that convert to the OGG format. There we go. That's all done and we're done with Audacity. Let's close that down. And there's our new AUG file. Now one thing, you cannot just rename MP3 to AUG. That's not going to work. You'll still have an MP3 file. It has to be converted. And the best program for that is that Audacity program. And I need to rename this to Menu 1. That's the first of our menu songs. Menu 1. Now there are four songs. I'll be using the same song for all four. If you have four different songs, that's fine. Just name them Menu 2, 3, and 4. And we'll put those here inside of the Sounds folder. So go over here. I'm just going to drag and drop this in like that. Go in here, drag it in there, go in Music, drag it into Menu, and go inside Menu. There we go. Let's now right click on this and copy, right click, and paste. I'll rename this one to, there we go, right click and paste, rename this one three. There it is, last one, right click, paste, and then rename this one four. There we go, there's all of our new songs. Now again, these are all the same songs this time. If you want different songs, just do the same thing with different songs. Let's go back to our title folder. We now need to update the manifest.json file right here. So let's double click on this and open this up. Again, it opens up inside of Notepad++ because that's what I'm using. Okay, here we go. Now a couple things in here. First off, we need to change our description up here. I'll just change mine to say new menu music. Like that, let's select that. And I'll copy that, Control C, copy. And let's go over this one right here, and Control V, paste. And then right down here again, and Control V, paste. Okay, next we have these two UUID codes. There's one here, and there's one right down here. Now these are like license plates on a car. They need to be different from each other and different from anything else. So all I do is I just come down to the last two numbers, and I'll add some number onto these. Right now I'm up to number 15. So I'll add 15 onto 22, and that makes that 37. Come down here, I'll add 15 onto 19, and that makes that 34. Okay, those are now changed. Now, one more thing in here, that's where it says min engine version right here. This is saying 117.30. There's a 30 right there. That's the version of the vanilla resource pack that's being downloaded right now from Minecraft.net. Now, your Minecraft version may not have updated to 30 yet. Let's double check that. We need to match that last number. I know that mine is not, mine is at an 11. Let me show you that real fast here, and we'll fix this. So I'll bring up Minecraft. Okay, here's the title screen loading in. Once this loads in, we'll take a look at the bottom right-hand corner, and you'll see the version that we're in. That says 117.11 right down there. So we need to change that to 117.11. So I'll close that down, and let's change this here so that says 11. Okay, that now matches my version. Make sure you double check that or it's not going to load properly. That's all done. Choose Save, close that down. Okay, now we can make our resource pack. Click on Sounds. Hold the control key down, click on manifest and pack icon. Then go up here to share and zip. I'll give you a new zip over here. Just give it a name. I'll call my new menu music and then change the dot zip. Make sure you're seeing the dot zip and then change that to MC pack. You have to see the dot zip or this is not going to work. And you should see that icon change. Mine did, so that's fine. If you don't see the icon change, just go back to your Windows folder here, back into your working folder, and you should then see that. Now at this point, make sure that Minecraft is not running, and then double click on this MC pack file. And that will then launch Minecraft, and we'll then import that new resource pack. We'll see that in a second, upper left hand corner. There you go. Import started. We should see import successful here in a second. There it is. There it is. Successfully imported. That's all set to go. And you should hear the original music still. So you need to activate that resource pack. Come down to settings, and then scroll down here to global resources and my packs. There's the new pack right here. Click activate. Click active and double check. There it is. Okay. Let's go outside of here. Let that load in that pack. When I need to close down Minecraft and open it back up again. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. And by the way, this is not made in Sweden. Minecraft is. This video is not. Okay. Close that down. And then I'll relaunch Minecraft. There we go. And this time, we should be hearing our new menu music. Let's see how well that worked out. This loads in pretty fast. And I hear it already. There we go. So that's how you can change the music behind the menu here inside of Minecraft Bedrock. Okay, if you like the video, make sure you hit like, click on share, make sure you subscribe as well, and I'll see you next time.